Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-Mursaleen Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most compassionate, all praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon his final messenger Muhammad. And may the peace and the blessings and the mercy of Allah be upon each one of you watching this little program. So what are we doing? Where am I? I'm in Alexandria in Egypt. Alexandria is on the north coast, the Mediterranean behind me. Alexandria has been called for many years the Pearl of the Mediterranean. It's a really beautiful place. And the idea we had is some, some of my friends here in Alex said, why don't we every couple of weeks, whenever you travel to a different place, why don't you make a little program, we put it on YouTube from each of the places. So for example, when you're in Singapore next, we can make a little program from Singapore. When you're in Colombo in Sri Lanka, when you're in New York. And the idea will be to, to, to speak about Islam, of course, but also to show the world to show Muslims and non-Muslims the different flavors of Islam throughout the world. So today I'm in Alexandria. Alexandria is truly beautiful. The sun is shining. The, you, you can't see behind the camera the people on the beach and the people having fun. You know, if, if you're not Muslim and you're watching the program and you have a few thoughts, you know, about Muslims because people in the West carry a lot of baggage about Islam. Well, I, I wish you could see, we, we won't turn the camera around, you could see the ordinary Muslims behind this camera having fun and laughing and joking. None of them has a hand grenade in his pocket. None of them has a gun. They're ordinary simple people, you know, they're here on holiday. They're ordinary working people who go out to work to put food on the table for their kids. They're not terrorists, they're not fanatics, they're ordinary people. So today I thought in this beautiful place of Alex, which I, I love very much in Egypt, Egypt is my home, I thought we might speak just for two or three minutes about Islam and the West. I'm here in Alexandria because last night I gave a talk to a group of Muslim women, Muslim sisters. So that's the first misconception got rid of. If, if you'd been at this talk, you know, these Muslim women, they were university students, young working women, highly educated none of them were oppressed you know the, the talk i gave last night was called the road to the heart and we were talking about how as muslims we need to submit to allah almighty with our hearts not just our minds that's not why i talked to you about the the, the the talk last night what what they what they wanted they said to me at the end brother idris next time you come talk to us about islam and the west Tell us how can we speak to people in the West about Islam? You know, many, many people say to me, Brother Idris, why do all people in the West hate Islam? And I say to them very simply, well, in fact, they don't. They don't, all people in the West don't hate Islam at all. There are three groups. There are some people for sure in the West who hate Islam. There are some, small group and they're very loud and vociferous in their hatred and many of them you know powerful they own newspapers or tv and so on so there is one group that hates islam and muslims there's another group we'll say we'll call it sort of a, a political group and it, it looks for someone to blame you know when politicians can't manage to get their act together and the economy is failing and the unemployment is high you know, they, they look for someone to point a finger at and say, oh, they are to bl the Muslims are to blame. So that's another group. But I honestly think, and this is what I tell Muslims here in Egypt, the biggest group of all in the West, they just don't know anything about Islam. It's not that they hate it. They know nothing about Islam. All they know about Islam is what the television tells them or what the newspapers tell them. And why would they know anything about Islam? They don't read books about Islam. Do you, you read books about Buddhism? You probably don't. Why would they know about Islam? So the only way they're going to hear about Islam is people telling them. When asked to describe the character of Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. His wife Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, described him as a walking Quran. You know, 
the only Islam that many people in the West will see are ordinary Muslims like you and I. They won't go to Islamic bookshops and buy books about Islam. They won't turn on its so-called Islamic channels and watch programs about Islam. They won't listen to shiuch giving speeches about Islam. They won't even open the Noble Quran and read about Islam. The only Quran they will ever read is you. The only Islam they will ever see is you. Now Islam is beautiful and gentle and sweet. And th the purpose of these few words today is to say that, is to tell people who are not Muslim, you know, just don't, don't listen to everything that the television is telling you. you know, did, did you ever meet a Muslim? Muslims would love people in the West to know about Islam. They really would. They'd like people to see the real Islam, not, not a caricature of Islam, of people doing bad things. They would like you to see ordinary Muslims like I see all around me here on the beach in Alexandria. So I, I would encourage Muslims to, you know, by, by the goodness of their lives, by the good example they give, by the, the, the sweet words they use, to let people see Islam. Let, let people in the West see that Islam is beautiful and gentle and sweet. If people could see how beautiful it is, they would weep tears, really. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. So at the end of this first little program, in our first city of Alexandria, who knows where we'll be next. I, I want to say that Islam is beautiful. Islam, Muslims believe Islam is the natural religion of mankind. It's existed since the beginning of time. And inshallah, if Allah wills it to be so, people will learn about Islam by our good example, by the goodness of our lives and by the way we treat one another. So until we meet again in the next program, I am Idris Tawfiq wishing you the greeting of Muslims, the greeting that the angels use in heaven. Peace be upon you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.